Do you know what foods to avoid if you have high blood pressure? Welcome to our guide that's all about the world of food and its impact on blood pressure. Now we all know that food is more than just fuel for our bodies. It's a source of pleasure, a tool for celebration, and sometimes a weapon against our health. This is particularly true when it comes to hypertension or high blood pressure as it's commonly known. You see, the foods we consume can either help us manage this condition or make it worse. And while medication is a crucial part of managing high blood pressure, your diet plays an equally important role. Making the right food choices can help you keep your blood pressure under control and reduce your risk of heart disease. So are you ready to learn more about the foods that could be raising your blood pressure without you even realizing it? Today, we will uncover 10 foods that you might want to steer clear of if you're watching your blood pressure. First on our list is salt. Salt or sodium chloride is a common ingredient in many of our favorite dishes, but it's also a major culprit in raising blood pressure. Why so? Well, when we consume salt, our bodies hold on to more water. This extra stored water raises our blood pressure. As a result, our hearts have to work harder to pump blood around the body, which can lead to hypertension. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day, but the ideal limit is even lower at 1,500 milligrams per day. That's just about two-thirds of a teaspoon of salt. Common high salt foods include processed foods, canned soups, and fast food. Even bread can contain more salt than you might think. So before you reach for that salt shaker, remember that a small change in your diet can make a big difference to your health. So, it could be time to put down that salt shaker. Next up, we have alcohol. Now, here's a fun fact. Alcohol can actually cause your blood pressure to rise, even if you're not a heavy drinker. Over time, regular consumption of alcohol can lead to long-term blood pressure problems. The more you drink, the greater the risk. So, how much is too much? Well, for most adults, moderate drinking means up to one drink a day for women of all ages and men older than age 65, and up to two drinks a day for men age 65 and younger. A drink is considered to be about 14 grams of pure alcohol, which is found in one 12-ounce beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. But remember, even moderate alcohol use isn't risk-free. For some people, avoiding alcohol entirely is the best option. It's always a good idea to talk to your doctor about what's right for you. Remember, moderation is key when it comes to alcohol. Third on our list is red meat. Now who doesn't love a juicy steak or a hearty burger? But here's the downside. Red meat, especially the marbled varieties, is loaded with saturated fat. This type of fat increases your blood cholesterol. High levels of cholesterol can lead to plaque buildup in your arteries, which can increase your blood pressure. Now this doesn't mean you have to give up on meat entirely. There are healthier protein alternatives available. How about a grilled chicken breast? Or a pan-seared fish fillet? Both are lean meats, which means they have less saturated fat. They're also high in protein, just like red meat. Plus, they're tasty and incredibly versatile. You could also try plant-based proteins like beans, lentils, or tofu. They're not only good for your heart, they're also good for the planet. So, next time you're at the supermarket or ordering off a menu, think twice about that steak or burger. Opt for lean meats instead for a healthier heart. Sugar is another one to watch out for. Sweet as it may be, sugar can play a not-so-sweet role when it comes to our blood pressure. It's been found that a diet high in sugar can lead to weight gain, which in turn can raise your blood pressure levels. But here's the tricky part. Sugar isn't just in your dessert or morning coffee. It's often hidden in processed foods, lurking behind names like high fructose corn syrup, dextrose or fruit juice concentrates. Even foods that you might think are healthy can sometimes be loaded with added sugars. Think about your breakfast cereal, your favorite salad dressing, or even that health bar you grab for a quick snack. They might be more sugary than you think. So, what's the takeaway here? Start becoming a label detective. Check the nutrition facts and ingredient lists on your food packages. Look for those hidden sugars and choose options with less added sweeteners. Keep an eye on those food labels to avoid hidden sugars. Processed foods are next on our list. These convenient, ready-to-eat items may save us time, but they're certainly no friend to our blood pressure. You see, processed foods are notorious for their high sodium content. Sodium, as we've already discussed, can cause a spike in blood pressure levels. But the trouble doesn't stop there. Processed foods can also be loaded with unhealthy fats. These fats, particularly trans fats, have been linked to heart disease and stroke, and they can also raise your blood pressure. So, what's the solution? Opt for whole, fresh foods whenever you can. 
Fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains are all excellent choices. They're not only lower in sodium and unhealthy fats, but they're also packed with nutrients that can help keep your blood pressure in check. Remember, convenience may be great, but it's not worth compromising your health. Fresh is best when it comes to managing your blood pressure. Let's talk about caffeine. It's the early morning savior and late night companion for many of us. But did you know that caffeine can cause a short-term spike in blood pressure? Even though the exact link between caffeine and blood pressure isn't fully understood, it's believed to block a hormone that keeps your arteries widened. However, for those who consume caffeine regularly, this effect may not be as pronounced. Now don't despair, coffee lovers. It doesn't mean you have to give up your beloved cup of joe entirely. The key is moderation. Instead of multiple cups a day, maybe limit yourself to just one. Or better yet, consider switching to decaf. Decaffeinated coffee still provides that comforting warmth and taste without the same level of caffeine. There are also a plethora of caffeine-free alternatives such as herbal teas and infused waters. So the next time you're reaching for a caffeine fix, remember to keep it in check. Consider decaf for your next coffee break. Watch out for saturated and trans fats. These unsavory characters sneak into many meals, causing havoc on your blood pressure. Saturated fats, found in red meat and full-fat dairy products, can raise your total cholesterol. Meanwhile, trans fats, often hiding in baked goods and fried foods, not only increase bad cholesterol levels, but they also lower the good cholesterol. When your cholesterol levels rise, your arteries bear the brunt of the damage. They become narrower and less flexible, making it harder for blood to flow freely. This increases blood pressure, taxing your heart and increasing your risk of heart disease. Common culprits of these fats include processed foods, fast food, and baked goods. Even some margarines touted as a healthier alternative to butter can contain trans fats. Remember, not all fats are bad. You can replace these harmful fats with heart-healthy ones. Choose monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats found in olive oil, avocados, and fatty fish. Choose heart-healthy fats for a healthier you. Pickles, a surprising addition. Yes, even those innocuous green bites hiding in your sandwich or garnishing your plate could be contributing to your high blood pressure. Why, you ask? Well, it's quite simple. Pickles, while delicious, are often high in sodium, a well-known culprit when it comes to hypertension. Just a single dill pickle can contain upwards of 700 milligrams of sodium. That's nearly a third of the recommended daily intake. And let's face it, who has just one? Now don't despair. This doesn't mean you have to give up the crunch and tang that pickles bring to your meals. Consider fresh cucumbers as a viable alternative. When you swap pickles for cucumbers, you're not only reducing your sodium intake, but you're also getting a healthy dose of hydration and essential vitamins. Plus, they retain that satisfying crunch we all love. So next time you reach for a pickle, remember, fresh cucumbers could be a crunchier, healthier choice. Tomato sauce, a common culprit. It's a staple in many kitchens and a quick fix for adding flavor to our meals. However, what many don't realize is that store-bought tomato sauce can often be loaded with high amounts of sugar and sodium. These hidden ingredients can be detrimental, especially if you're aiming for a balanced diet. The sugar content can lead to an increase in blood glucose levels and too much sodium can contribute to higher blood pressure. But don't despair, pasta lovers. There are healthier alternatives available Consider making your own tomato sauce at home. It's not only a fun culinary adventure, but also a way to control what goes into your food. Choose fresh tomatoes, add your favorite herbs, and a pinch of salt to taste. This way, you know exactly what's in your sauce, and you can adjust the ingredients to your liking. So, the next time you're reaching for that jar of sauce, think twice. Making your own sauce could be a fun and healthier alternative. Finally, we have fast food. Ah, the bane of healthy eating. Fast food's convenience and addictive flavors make it a popular choice, but it's a dangerous one for those mindful of their blood pressure. Why? It's loaded with the unholy trinity of hypertension, sodium, unhealthy fats, and sugars. Fast food joints are notorious for their high sodium content. Sodium can cause your body to retain water, putting extra stress on your heart and boosting your blood pressure. Unhealthy fats? They're here too, contributing to weight gain and heart disease. Then, there's the sugar often hidden in sauces and drinks, which can lead to weight gain and increase your risk of high blood pressure. So what's the alternative? Try embracing the joy of home-cooked meals. Not only are they more nutritious, but they also give you control over what goes into your food. You decide the salt, fat, and sugar levels. Home-cooked meals give you control over your ingredients and your health. 
herb. So that rounds up our list of foods to avoid for high blood pressure. We've taken a journey through the grocery store, from the salt aisle to the fast food counters, uncovering the hidden culprits that could be raising your blood pressure. We've learned about the high sodium content in salt, pickles and tomato sauce, the harmful effects of alcohol and caffeine, the unhealthy fats in red meat and processed foods, and the blood pressure spikes caused by sugar and fast food. This journey has shown us that managing blood pressure is more than just taking medication. It's about making conscious decisions about what we put into our bodies. It's about choosing fruits over fries, water over wine, and whole grains over white bread. It's about understanding that every bite we take can either contribute to our health or take away from it. Remember, it's all about balance and making healthier choices. Stay healthy!